Okay, we have here today another integral from Swinby 2018. This was problem number nine. We have the integral of one minus cosine x over sine x over two dx. Okay, my first concern with this one was just the fact that in our trig functions, we don't have the same angle. Here we have, in the numerator, we've got an x, and here we have x over two. So my thought was we could kind of do it two ways. We could try to convert sine x over two into x, or we could take the cosine x and try to convert it into something with x over two. I chose to try to convert the cosine. So what I want to do for that, do for that first is look at a double angle formula for cosine, but we're actually looking at cosine at 2x. And so we have this identity for this. This can be written as 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. There's a couple different forms of this identity, but I think this is the one that's going to work best for us right here. Now what I want to do here is we don't have cosine 2x. We actually have cosine x here. Well, I can change this by just kind of plugging in x over 2 into this formula. So if I write this, we plug in x over 2 for x everywhere. Then we have a different identity. This here becomes an x over 2. But then canceling these twos, now we have a formula for cosine of x, which expresses it in terms of the half angle. So all I want to do is let's just take this and we'll plug this back in for cosine x right here. So just doing this, we're going to have 1 minus this thing, which is 1 minus 2 sine squared x over 2. Then the denominator stays the same. We're just going to have our sine x over 2 here, dx. Distributing the minus sign 1 minus 1, this is going to go away and be 0. Distributing the minus in here, this is just going to turn this into a plus. So now we have 2 sine squared x over 2 over sine x over 2. We'll rewrite that and cancel one of these with one of these, bring the 2 up front of the integral. So we're going to end up here with 2 sine x over 2, dx. But now we can just go ahead and integrate this thing. So we'll bring our 2 over here. Integral of sine x over 2 is going to be cosine x over 2. But then we need the chain rule on the x over 2 to bring another 2 up front. And actually, we need a minus sign on the cosine because... Oh, shoot. No, we don't. Okay, so now we'll just go ahead and integrate this thing. So we'll have a 2 up front. Integral of sine x over 2 is going to be minus, which I'll put up front here, cosine x over 2. But then with the chain rule, we'll have one half, take the reciprocal, and we'll bring a 2 out front here. So for the final solution, we're just going to have minus 4 cosine x over 2 plus c, and that's it. Okay, so there you have it. Really good problem from Swinby 2018. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.